just felt it was right to give Quinn Miller his respect. How did I get here? How did I make it here? Last year was supposed to be my greatest year. Look at me, I'll never be the same again. Whipping my mama's SUV through the back streets. <laughs> Hit the Walmart late at night, had to shop little the dice and the whites made decisions like that one, that one. These rap songs made me wanna get out here and get some racks on. Yeah, hold on. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I got so many questions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, I need you. Man, y'all gotta give Quinn Miller his respect, man. That, like. This new project that he dropped, I'm I'm messing with it. Like Quinn Miller is a very talented artist. YouTube, what is good, man? It's your boy Nick with the kicks. Y'all already know the introduction. Back again today with another video. This one is kind of like a discussion. I've seen a lot of like YouTubers doing it. A lot of like people who review music and stuff like that. Shout out to them. Top 10 albums of 2K16. Now, spoiler alert. Um, the two albums that will not be in this category: Schoolboy Q, his album and the life of pablo the reason behind these is because the life of pablo i never actually like got into it like to this day i still don't really jam a song from that album at all like i didn't even review it but i heard it so to me it wasn't it was an okay album but it wasn't like the best sort of like kanye album schoolboy q's album i know a lot of people saying that was good too the reason i didn't um review that is because I like Schoolboy Q, but he's not the type of person I think I would listen to a whole project. Like, I'm not jocking his credibility. I, it's kind of messed up because he dropped it around the same time, or he dropped it the same time Drake dropped his album. I just, I mess with Schoolboy, don't get me wrong, I just don't mess with him like that. So, um, this is just my point of view of the albums of the year, okay? And these are not in any type of order, it's just the top 10 albums that I think really made an impact on 2K16. And for people who saying, who think I'm probably gonna put Young Thug Jeffrey in there? I'm not. But even though I really did mess with Jeffrey, Jeffrey was hard. I'm not even gonna lie. So, because they're kind of in order, but they're not really in order, okay? All right, guys, number 10 is Frank Ocean Blonde. Now, Frank Ocean, any project that he probably would have dropped would have made the cut, honestly. Just because it's Frank Ocean, his album, like, it was so good, man. He came with the 3000, um, the Andre 3000 feature two on there, and like, the, the Nike song was crazy. Everything just about the album was just so good. And people that have been looking for for a project from Frank Ocean for so long, and then he finally dropped it, man. And um, much respect to Frank. Like, he had, like, that's probably, I won't say that's the best project I've heard um, him drop, but it's probably, like, borderline one of the best product, pro projects that I've heard Frank Ocean drop. So big ups to Frank Ocean, man. I definitely mess with the album Blonde. I don't know when we're going to get another album from Frank Ocean. It'll probably be about 10 years from now. So um, just big ups to Frank. Number nine is um, Denzel Curry, Imperial. Now, I, I was not, a, I didn't know who Denzel Curry was at all. I never knew who he was. I had like so many comments telling me to go check out this dude, Denzel Curry. And as far as Imperial, I mean, every song on Imperial is like a jammer. ULT said it's sick and tired. The, the, the song with Rick Ross, Narcotics, This Life, the song he had with Joey Badass, man, like every song was just like a, a banger. Like, and he kind of like the flow he got, it's kind of like, um, he kind of remind me of like when Crazy Bone and them used to be rapping. Crazy Bone, um, Bone doesn't harm me, basically just say that, how they used to be rapping. Like he kind of reminds me, he gives me that when I listen to him, it gives me the rap feel of, of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Like that, that's one of my favorite albums of, two, of 2016 too. Number eight, I gotta say DJ Khaled, Major Key. The only reason why I say that this album can probably even compete for one of the top albums of the year is because everybody was on DJ Khaled, like Major Key, you know, they don't want you to, they don't want you to do this, they don't want you to do that. Like DJ Khaled was made, he had such a buzz, man. It was just like, and then he dropped the album, he had the single with Nas. Like, every song on there was like, I, I was messing with every song. If y'all hadn't seen that, big ups to DJ Khaled, you know, he's kind of like, I won't say he's falling off, but like, he, he's doing his thing as well, man. All right, number seven, I gotta say, Logic, Bobby Tarantino, definitely was a very needed album from Logic. Even though Logic already has fans, like, he's won so many people over from the music that he's been dropping, Flexecution. Um, Riss, you know, he was doing like all kind of features. He had a feature on the um, Suicide Squad soundtrack. Uh, I can't remember what the song that was, but that was crazy, you know. So Logic, he, he really had a very good year, even though 
I know he's probably already been having good years, but me becoming an artist, he won me over kind of with Bobby Tarantino. So I, I really mess with Bobby Tarantino. Um, number six, I gotta say Post Malone Stoney. Post Malone is just like a, such a good artist, man. Like when I heard White Iverson, I was like, okay, this is a white dude, blah, blah, blah. You know, he rapping and singing, you know, he, he won't be, he won't be nothing too big. But like, he's proven me completely wrong. Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Post Malone fan, like, cause he got that, like, he got that, that that Texas style kind of country like wave to him like it's, and it's so cold man and Stony like the the tracks on Stony every literally it was it was singles back to back to back to back to back so I definitely mess with Stone. Number five is Travis Scott Birds in the Trap sing McKnight and a lot of people saying that should be album of the year. I I, I liked it so much that I, I can borderline say it should have been album of the year. And the, the singles with Kid Cudi like Kid Cudi and Travis Scott like they vibe so good together man like they just they, they vibe so good together. The song with uh, Kendrick Lamar that was a banger. Travis Scott you know his his production is already crazy like, like from days before Rodeo like I'm still listening to the tracks then and then the song um with 21 that was cold too and then you know he had the, the, the young thug features and it was just it was just cold man I like I shout out to Travis for that he, he did his thing for real um number four coloring book by by um what's the dude name Ch Chance the Rapper Chance the Rapper like I said he's got he's that one like his flow just the cadence his his um like how he how he even dresses like everything about Chance the Rapper is just like like fits the the type of person that like you want your like your son to grow up to be or something like that like if you want to be if like if i had to teach my son to be a rapper i would mirror him to try to be like chance the rapper because chance is so like he's so talented like he can sing he can rap he performs and then he messes with the rap community he messes with the gospel community like he messes with everybody so and the, the coloring book the album um, I don't even think it was an album. I, it might have been. I don't know. But anyway, if it wasn't, if it was not, it's one of the top projects of the year. So I still mess with it. Um, and coloring book, like everything, the features to the songs, the stories he was telling, like everything about it, it was just, it was just crazy, man. So I, I really, I really mess with coloring book as well. That's like one of the top albums of the year. I think you're gonna hate me for saying that this is number three, but I have to say Drake is from the six is number three. I know a lot of people like don't like Drake as far as like his music and stuff like they say it's kind of simple but y'all have to realize man it's Drake like Drake has come a long way like Wayne kind of brought him into the rap game and he's kind of exceeded Wayne so like anytime you exceed your predecessor like like you, you're doing big things and Drake just doing big things man he's all over the place like everything every song that he's making now is like it's going like it's it's taking off so and it, it seems like every time he touches a track, like it, it turns into gold. Like it's awesome, man. Like, and I'm not even necessarily dick riding Drake. I just think he's he's a good artist. Views from the Six was awesome. I, I don't say I, I don't say I'm a mess with. I mess with every song. 16 songs on there, I think. And I mess with it at least like 14. People drop. It might have been more songs than that. I think it was like 18. So anyway, um, when people drop like big projects like that, you gotta have like a lot of songs that was really good. And and like most of the time, like when people have albums that big i don't be messing like i don't be messing with all the tracks on there i only mess with like half of the tracks he was just doing it big man so that's why i say i give it to drake for number three number two the weekend starboy and i reviewed it and i heard it i was like automatically this has to be album of the year because literally the weekend came back to back to back like and he like exceeded even drake drake kind of like put him on the scene even though he wrote most of um the album um take care even though he kind of most wrote most of that but still he he kind of exceeded drake as far as music as far as like just singing and being like a pop star or r b star or whatever you want to call the weekend like it's it's crazy and every song like like every song if i had to take that album and the next album like i could just listen to them all year and not listen to nobody that that album was just so great man y'all already know what the number one album is like i don't even have to i don't even have to say it like because y'all already know it's the only album that's not in here that has came out and has been that good that I have not said anything about. The album was by far great. The album was so well put together that when he put it out, like he almost did like more numbers than Drake. No features, nothing. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Like, cause this dude, J. Cole, man, like he had Forest Hill Drive. Then he came with this album. A lot of people at first didn't like this album. At first, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really didn't even like this album. For your eyes only. I really didn't even like at first I was I was listening to it and I was messing with it and I was like ah 
And then when I started like to listen to it, like as I was going to work every day, as I was just chilling around the crib, just, you know, just hanging out. Like I was like, man, dude, this album is great. Like this has to get album of the year. By far, the storytelling, um, the, the the point of how you have to listen to the song, like that, like he he gave us food for thought literally in all his songs. That 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 like he kind of like he put it on another pedestal, man. So I mean, I can't even that album for your eyes only. Is, like it's probably some some of the best music that was in an album I have heard ever since. Like, I don't even know. Probably, like, since a Jay-Z or a Nas album, honestly. So, that, that has to, in my opinion, that has to get album of the year. So, that's that's pretty much all the projects I was messing with. Um, as far as the ones I mentioned in the first, like, I messed with those two, but they wasn't just really some stuff that I did or I really liked. So, definitely, y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this list, man. I know y'all, some of y'all might mess with it, some of y'all might not. Some of y'all might want to throw y'all's, um, you know, different opinions in you know i'm always i'm always looking at comments so definitely um feel free to su subscribe if you haven't subscribed like the video dislike it you know all the feedback i love it man just just let me know man i i, I like i like hearing what y'all think so best way to get at me like i always say twitter that will be in the description snapchat will be in the description as well got a lot more reviews coming up for y'all a lot more stuff in 2k7 as far as just being a reaction channel i don't really want to be just a reaction channel like i said i got the vlogs popping um, if y'all haven't checked out the vlog, go check that out. Um, reactions, of course. Discussions. I want to have a lot of discussion. Um, and just all type of stuff. So just let me know. I might even jump in the game in a little bit. So, because I, I do game a lot. If y'all don't know, my, um, my gamer tag for the PS4 is the same as my username on YouTube. So just hit me up. Let me know. Um, so I appreciate y'all. Like I said, I'm checking out. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Because California is gangsters. California is for gangsters. California is for gangsters.